Hi, Usha. Hello, sir. Last day morning after, I think we came here on the first afternoon. What has changed from first afternoon to fifth morning? It's a wonderful journey, sir. And I would say, though it's the last day of the retreat, I still feel it's a journey because I still have a long way to go. And every day was just mesmerizing. I have no better word to say. Uh, the nature, the mountain, the healing, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I don't have to talk about, you know, the meditations. Uh, it's just the next level, sir. And uh, the nature itself is like, you know, a feast to it, the soul. So it was a very, very wonderful journey. I, I have no words to uh, express or explain, sir, because I, I can feel myself. Mm. The peace, the calmness, and the sessions, you know, where uh, we were talking about stillness. Mm -hmm. I, I can feel it, and definitely I will apply. And I think I'm a more calmer person, mm. and now I become more aware of things, how I feel, mm. how I talk, what what I'm supposed to, you know, uh, behave, what I'm supposed to say, mm -hmm. so many things, sir. So, yes, it has made a very big difference. Mm -hmm. So, when you came here, what did you come here for? What brought you here? Uh, honestly speaking, there was nothing much in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just came because I wanted, they, they said it's, a, it's in Rishik, I mean, Dehradun, mm -hmm. and... Um, they said it's a retreat going on, so mm. I thought, okay, fine, let me go. So I had with zero expectation. Mm. Um, but again, when I came here, it was not just a retreat, mm. and it is like I, I have uh, my friends telling me, you know, when I have put the status and when I'm telling them this is how it was, mm. and they were like, it's mind blowing, mm. and it's like, you know, they wanted to be a part of it. They regret being a part of it. Not being part of it. Yes, then uh, they regret not being a part of it right now. Yeah. So that was the uh, effect of it, sir, because uh, it's just, just, just lovely. I think uh, most of the people, uh, what I have seen, uh, sir, when, uh, you know, in, um, in my surroundings and mm. with my friends, we feel healing is not required for everybody. Mm. They don't understand everybody has some or the other trauma which mm. is suppressed in mm. them. There is stress, there is, mm. uh, you know, the inner child healing mm. required, mm. everybody. And mm. as I said, healing is required. Mm. So the, that awareness is not there. Yeah. They feel healing means, uh, they have a very, very different perspective of mm. healing. Sir. Mm. So this retreat again, you know, the, changes the entire meaning of healing. Mm. Uh, right from how you think, right from how you feel, mm. the energies, mm. the vibrations. Um, meditation, sir, I mean, that is one of the most beautiful thing I have to tell you, the Brahma Muharat meditation. So and I think just, listening to this silence. <laughs> yes. And when you are in a place like this, and if you have the, the courage to be with self, then I think uh, you don't need to do anything. You suddenly realize that all modalities or all techniques are just techniques. That's okay. As you hear this various birds. The chirping of the birds. Yeah. I, I like the insects, the sounds they make, yeah. the butterflies, the yeah. beautiful, oh, the, butterflies. the colors, you know, the and it's like, and the fluttering of leaves also, the breeze, yeah. it's like, you know, the breeze kissing my cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have to say about these mountains. Yeah. Yeah. So, what yes. did the mountains tell you? <laughs> tell me about a little bit about, what did the mountains tell you? Every morning uh, when we had been to the temple, so, so there I was again gazing at the mountains again as usual. 
trying to ask, you know, what is that you want to tell me? <laughs> so, yes, I did get answers. All I got to know was just love yourself. Wow. And self-love. Love yourself. That that's it. it. I remember when we went uh, that day on that uh, rock and you shouted. Exactly. Uh, you struggled <laughs> to, to shout in the dynamic meditation. I, I words just couldn't come out. So. Yeah. But when you went there on that on that rock, <laughs> uh, you just went ballistic. What was that? Tell me. I don't know, sir. I mean, it's just like uh, the minute I we got on top of that hill, and I was like, yeah, this this is the sound I was talking about. I love this sound. I'm gonna miss this. So yeah. when I got on top of that mountain, and uh, I just closed my eyes. And I could feel a sense of peace, a sense of freedom, sir. It's like, thank you, you I mean myself. And I could feel, I could sense those energies. And then I'm like, be yourself. Yeah. And I, I know because I have seen in dynamic meditation, a lot of the shouting comes from a lot of anger within. Your Mine was joy. shout that day was about joy. Joy, it was, it was like... Joy. How can the nature be this beautiful? Yeah. I have, we have seen, everybody has yeah. seen it, sir. But how many of them have felt it? Is my question mark. Yeah. So, I think once you start being in nature, as you said, silence is so beautiful. You can see the leaves talking to you. You can hear, you know, you can see the flowers talking to you, different languages. Oh my God, the flowers, sir. I was like admiring and admiring every flower. And even the early morning, I think uh, we were discussing when they had sprinkled water on the yeah, grass. Okay. It was like pearls, pearls. diamonds, you know, pearls. spread all over the oh. acres of land. And that was yeah. so beautiful. And then in the night, the pearls on the sky. <laughs> oh, I don't have to talk about those stars. How beautiful, sir. Yeah. So, yes, so all this makes a lot of difference. So, the experience was really, really And you can take stillness from here. Then where is stillness come? But tell me, what does the stillness do to you? It's what I have understood. I love that stillness. <laughs> yeah. You I remember on day exactly. one and day two, whenever there used to be a question, you just use. I have said, has she even heard my question? Okay. I used to always wonder, has she even heard my question? It used to just come the answer. But I love that stillness. Uh, before you give that answer. I'll just stop you. Please go ahead. You have the answer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you. you go, and, I, and I'm practically using it, sir. What is that doing to you? It has given lots of, uh, uh, you know, time to introspect what mm. I want to say, what mm. I feel, what I want to express, mm. what am I feeling. Yeah. So, what I do is I observe, like, you know, what am I feeling? And then I say, so that that uh, awareness still is, stillness has given me, sir. So the words I speak are not just words. You know? Exactly. What I feel. They are my emotions. So that is what stillness has given me. And I think that's beautiful. When, when you express your emotion, I think uh, the world connects with you. The world connects with you uh, when you express your true self. Beautiful. Beautiful, Usha. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being part of our journey, for trusting us uh, with what you trusted. It's not easy uh, and uh, really a lot of gratitude for trusting us. And wishing you, I think the journey is, as you rightly said, uh, it's a journey. Not at all. I think we are, we have, uh, we have started off and uh, I think it's a, it's a beautiful meeting coming together and I'm sure this coming together will enrich all our lives and Definitely. the lives of people around you as well. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And, and uh, uh, even I would also sure. I would also want to thank so especially <laughs> you because you have given me so many insights otherwise I wouldn't have got it because um, yes as I said few things are being aware mm -hmm. stillness questioning yourself what exactly you know these things I mean, nobody would have told me. Uh, you know, I, 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 I can tell you a very honest thing. Yes. Okay. We, we used to
to when we used to start our exercise every for our any of our session, we used to start with beginning uh, with setting intent. And we used to always begin with setting intent. I'll tell you now what intent I used to set. And my intent uh, here when I was doing the sessions was hey please take me out of the session. Let whatever you want to say come. And let me not interfere. If something has come to you, it has come to you because that was what was intended for you by somebody. You call universe, you call God, you call life, anybody. And very honestly, I was out of it. Very honestly, I was out of it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you are ready, uh, as they say. When the students are ready, everything. The teacher appears here. Yeah, you are ready. Uh, and the teacher is always ready. The teacher is always there. Okay. The mountain, the trees. I think the teacher is always there. I think this retreat, I think people should take him here because uh, definitely I think it's going to make a big difference for them in their lives. So my message would be like, even, yeah, I mean, anybody. Uh, if they even have slightest of uh, doubt, you know, like, what is this retreat all about? What is it going to do? <laughs> you have to experience. Exactly. Exactly. It's exactly. It's an experience. Even it's I, a, it's even so I soulful. If, if you ask me to explain in one word, I would say it is soulful. So nice to hear from the soulful Thank poet. you so much, sir. All and the best.